hello friends welcome back to my uh, tutorials so uh, it's not just today and uh, that is uh, not just and the modular pattern in this tutorial I am going to show you how we can create our own uh, custom modules in uh, Node.js. So uh, let's get started. First uh, let's uh, create our file. So first I am going to create uh, the index.js file. That would be the starting point uh, for our project. Next I am going to create the uh, JavaScript file for our uh, module. I am uh, giving the module name as uh, my module. Next, uh, let's do uh, npm init on the uh, terminal which will uh, show us the uh, prompt to create the package.json file. Uh, let's enter the details here. Please note that the uh, package.json is mandatory for uh, all the uh, Node.js projects and uh, modules. As you can see, the uh, package.json is uh, created now. So uh, now let's uh, drive into the code. I am uh, adding a function to our module in uh, Node.js uh, to make a method of property inside a module public. We need to add it to the module.exports. So uh, you should only be adding the uh, attributes that needs to be accessed from outside uh, to the uh, module.exports. So uh, here what I am doing is adding a public method inside our uh, module which will uh, just contain a uh, console.log. Uh, later this method will be uh, called from our uh, main application. So uh, the method name uh, will be uh, say hello and uh, I am uh, just adding a log that is uh, hello there. Okay, so this is just uh, for our uh, testing purpose. Now uh, in our uh, main application let's uh, load the module and uh, call this method first uh, let's load the module uh, we have to use require for that and uh, we need to send the full path to our uh, module to the uh, require method please note the uh, dot slash in the path uh, that denotes the uh, current folder and it is uh, required to load the module now uh, let's run the app and see yes uh, as you can see the uh, log is displayed this works well right but uh, what if the uh, path to the module change? We will need to uh, change it wherever the uh, module is being used, right? How to tackle that situation? Let's see. Now uh, I am going to uh, create a folder and uh, move our module to that uh, folder. Then uh, we will be referencing our uh, module with that uh, folder name. Now I have given the uh, folder name as uh, my module. That will be our uh, module name and uh, I am uh, moving the file to that uh, folder and naming it as uh, index.js. Now uh, that is done. So uh, we have uh, my module slash uh, index.js and uh, what we want is to uh, refer it as just my module. Right now if we try to do that it will uh, throw error saying uh, module not found. To uh, make it work we will need to package the module with npm. Let's do that now. First, uh, we need to create a package.json in our uh, module folder. Let's uh, start with that. Uh, you can enter the details as you wish. Now uh, we need to create a readme.md file. Let's enter a uh, description inside that. Now uh, finally we are uh, ready to package our module. So uh, that is uh, npm pack and it will package the module to a uh, tgz file. Now uh, our uh, module is ready but uh, how to use it in our uh, project. I will uh, show you that now. It's so easy. We can uh, just do npm install and uh, point your package that uh, we have created and we are done. Now uh, let's check. As you can see, the uh, node underscore module folder is uh, created and our uh, 
module is inside that so uh, that means we have our uh, first custom node.js uh, module ready now uh, let's run the app and uh, check so that is uh, node index dot uh, js yeah it's working so all good we have our first node.js module done so guys uh, this is how uh, we can create our own uh, module in node.js so uh, that's it guys i hope uh, i have made all uh, points clear if you have any questions pen me at uh, srijesh at uh, kriyatma.com see you all in my uh, next episode thank you and bye